How's it going guys? This is Scruffy here with another Mortal Kombat 11 gameplay video. And today I faced a person who spent the entire first game we played spamming Shiva's stomp jump the entire time. Now what you're seeing here is actually our second time matching up, but the first game, all they did was stomp jump with Shiva. Which, if you know, is an unblockable move and it's super hard to avoid. You have to time it perfectly. You can't really get that timing down if you don't play against Shiva very often, which you know, I really don't face Shivas that often, but when I do, it seems like their only game plan is to spam that stop jump. Super frustrating. The most frustrating thing to me is playing against someone who doesn't know how to play the game, clearly isn't very good, but all they do is spam and they still somehow beat you. So, in this second game here, they played as Katana. A little surprising, expected them to spam with Shiva some more. Uh, and what really came as a surprise to me is they didn't spam or zone at all in this game like I expected them to. They actually were doing combos and anticipating my moves, punishing me. You know, I'm not really mad if you'll grab once in a while, and they didn't really spend the entire time grabbing like they did before. So yeah, they would alternate stomp jumps and grabs, but this game they're just, you know, doing combos and playing the game well. So. It was really surprising to me. I didn't really anticipate it the first round. But, uh, yeah, we were able to end up getting the victory on them. But, you know, I really wasn't mad after losing the first round. Normally, when I play a spam or a zoner, they still manage to beat me the first round. Even if I end up winning the game, I'm still kind of fuming after that. But, what really confuses me is if you know how to play the game, you know how to do combos, you know how to do all that, why, why spend the game spamming the entire time? Like, I don't know if any of these 10 viewers that I normally have ever spam or zone during the game. Like, how do you not feel cheap doing that the entire time? Like, I feel cheap at the end of a game when both me and my opponent have a sliver of life left and our really only option is to zone each other out. I feel cheap doing that. But I, I just don't get it. But yeah, that round, there's a big health difference there. You know, they, they barely touched me and I was able to, to secure the round out. And it started this round off pretty good. If you notice throughout this game, my kind of tactic was whenever I'd get them down, I would back up a little bit, wait for them to roll towards me, and then just do my little spear poke and be able to start off a combo with that. I'm sorry if I kind of lose my train of thought here or there. Or, uh, I'm kind of ramble. It's my first time doing audio recording. Uh, don't know how it'll sound, don't know how it'll turn out. Just trying my best here. Uh, so, you know, let me let me know at the end of the video if uh, it sounds good, or if you'd rather me revert back to doing the texting I usually do. So, so yeah, uh, here we just finished the game here, and as always, you got to give them a little teabag. You know, if you're, I hate teabagging after the, the first round, the first game in a series. I, I hate when people do that to me, I hate doing it, because you come off cocky, and nine times out of ten, you end up losing the series. But, you know, after seeing how they played, I knew I had them. Uh, so you just gotta give them a little teabag. Show them that they're playing cheap. If they're playing cheap, they're gonna be treated cheap. Uh, one of the things I kinda notice that I do later in the video and throughout my videos, you guys notice I'll do a down two a lot, that little uppercut. Now the reason it's kind of like engraved in my head to do that is because a lot of the people that I'll face on Mortal Kombat, especially online, just love to grab. Like 90% of the people I play would spend most of the game grabbing. I also like doing that little wake up roll, so I'll roll behind them and can punish them off one of their combos if they oversell it. And so like a lot of times, especially later in the game, they'll anticipate that and grab me so that I can't roll past them. And so it's kind of just engraved in my brain. I don't really mean to do it half the time, but if they start coming at me, I'm just doing an uppercut, get them away from me so I can regain and do another combo. Now, this character selection, they, they switch characters to Scorpion which to me might be their main, because they, they switch to it pretty fast after getting beat. But again, they they just teleported this entire game. Like, that was that their game plan? Was just to teleport and see if I would slip up and let them teleport on me? Like, most scorpions I play that just teleport the entire game will uh, stagger, like jump towards you and then jump away and not really plan their teleport so it's sporadic and you don't really expect it. But this guy, no, no he just teleported after teleport. And, and then here, he does an actually nice combo. So clearly, again, he knows how to play the game. If you know how to play the game, why why are you spamming? Why are you doing an... I don't, I don't get it. 
But this made me happy right here. I anticipated a teleport, I anticipated a, a spear throw, something. But, uh, so I was waiting patiently, just neutral ducking. When they got close enough, just whip out that fatal and end the round. Just, you know, you don't like using the fatal during the first round. You can help it, but, you know, just wait, use it there. Really no point in saving it. I don't think I'll get down that low again. So yeah, you know, I had a little brain leg there. I did the, that little forward kick that normally goes into that little weird circle electric field. But uh, it, it didn't come out when I pressed it. So yeah, again, losing track here. Just rambling. But yeah, there, there's an example that down two. I, a lot of the times it pays off because I'll get that crushing blow. But most times I don't like doing it. But yeah, of course, give them a little teabag. Let them, let them know they're playing cheap. And now, I don't know if you guys play Combat League very often. I know a lot of people don't play it because of the stress. I play it because uh, I think it's fun. I like getting the gear. I'm not really usually too worried about it. But uh, with the new update, there's the option for a friendly rematch. If, and you can just do a regular casual match against the opponent if you want to keep playing them. But here, after this game, it just said next opponent or quit to main menu. And when that happens, you know your opponent rage quit. So... I was glad I got him to rage quit there. I was hoping I, could, I was thinking I should have given him mercy, to see the quitality, but you know it is what it is. And now here I match up against him a third time. This is the next game after I just beaten them, and they're already my nemesis after three games, which is pretty neat. Didn't even know that was a feature until recently. But here I'm expecting again. I'm expecting Shiva. This entire time I'm playing them, I'm expecting Shiva. But I actually got them to rage quit in the character select. Like, I, I'm, they're scrolling around, like, okay, Shiva, whatever, and like, oh, Noob Saibot, I play him a lot. Like, I know how to counter him, his combos are pretty predictable. And then, nope, just ending game. So that's a free win for me. And, yeah. So that was the video, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know how, how you like the audio, and appreciate it, thanks.